Tag, you're it. <laughs> Everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tag Tuesday. We were tagged by Baden Vlogs for this one. It is called Couples Questionnaire Challenge slash vlog or slash tag. It has 10 questions. So here we go. How did we meet? And what was your first impression of me? <laughs> Do you want me to go first? Sure. We met on the internet. And my very first impression of him on the internet was he's very, very handsome. When we met in person, it was he's very funny and handsome very funny yeah because you you cracked a lot of jokes and to me um you know what I, i'm a joker i i like jokes and and to laugh and he made me laugh a lot groovy man so your answers pretty much same yahoo personals right the yahoo personals and um so i thought she was really cute when i met her i thought boy she's short and uh, I remember, I remember on his his profile, he said, "All you girls are looking for all these six foot tall men." The shorter they are, the taller they were looking for. It made no sense to me. And he said, "I'm what five 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 five, and I'm not getting any taller." So, and I didn't want a tall guy. You know, I sore neck looking up all the time. Oh. So I was very happy to uh, have found someone handsome and and my height and yeah. I was oh. happy. Do you remember the first thing we said to one another? Hi. <laughs> Probably. I don't remember. Um, I remember he picked me up. I was renting a room um, from somebody, and he came to pick me up. We talked for about three months online before we actually met in person. And I remember he came to the house to pick me up, and we said hello, and... He had told me that he limped, but he wouldn't. He didn't tell me why at first. And then um, we talked about that because he has an artificial hip. And um, I don't remember exactly what we said when we first saw each other, but I think we were both. Well, I was pleasantly pleased. I don't remember. It's eleven years ago. That's too long ago for me. Really. Yeah, I mean, we met in two thousand and three. So. so. But I don't remember the exact words, but I think, were you pleasantly pleased? Of course. Yeah. So. Um, where and what did you do on your first date? We ate and drank. <laughs> we went to a Mexican restaurant, El Torito's, and we didn't, we were talking about having dinner dinner, but trying to get to know each other over a dinner was kind of hard for, I think is kind of hard for people. So we just had appetizers and drinks in the bar, and we got to know each other, and he made me laugh a lot. So. I had to look her, her up. <laughs> Believe me, it doesn't take much. Um, that's when I was able to drink. I don't drink anymore. What was your parents' first impression when I introduced you to them? My uh, mother thought you were wonderful. My parents did not get to meet Kevin until after we were married because... They live in New York. We live here. So my uncle Donnie, actually, which is my mother's brother, actually gave me away at our wedding. And um, but my parents, from talking to my uncle Donnie, who had met Kevin, and um, actually Kevin and my cousin Jimmy, who's my uncle Donnie's son, went to school together, and didn't even know each other. But they dated the same girl. Yeah, they dated they? the same girl at one time. It was so didn't funny. Know each other. But, um, but my parents automatically loved Kevin because just from me talking about Kevin, um, knew how much I, I knew how happy I was and, um, meeting or talking to my, my aunt and uncle knew how much, knew how great he was. So they loved him. What's our nicknames for each other? Sweetie is what I think I use the most. Yeah, and I usually call him Kev or Hun. Uh, what's your favorite body part of each other, random and personal? Don't 
like this. You go first, then. I'm like, this is, this is, this is a scary one. <laughs> I love his eyes. Oh, yeah, that's a safe one. And I love his goatee, but I love the fact that he's growing it into a beard since he's not working right now. And personal, without being too risque on YouTube, I like his butt. Back when I had a butt? You still have a butt. I like your butt. Okay. Okay, your turn. I would say her smile is probably the most infectious thing, and uh, I, I'm a, I've always been kind of a butt person too. Oh, oh, hold on! I lost, I lost my screen. Oh, I lost my screen. There we are. We're back. Uh, what song reminds you of me? Can I go first on that one? Please. When one of our first dates, we went to a karaoke bar that Kevin used to favorite a lot, and. He sings karaoke, even though he says he doesn't sing. He does. He sings very well. He sang in the Jingle Bells collaboration with the Bodens. Um, he sang You're My Brown-Eyed Girl. No, it's just called Brown-Eyed Girl. Okay, he sang Brown-Eyed Girl. She just assumed that she was my brown-eyed girl. Hey, you just bursted my bubble. I want a divorce. <laughs> I, uh, get, I get boomer. <laughs> He sang Brown Eyed Girl, and I have brown eyes, and I, whether he meant it towards me or not, I took it that way, and um, it always reminds me of that, and for a long time, he had that as my ringtone, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's only because you programmed my phone. That's right. <laughs> so what song reminds you of me? I have, well, right now, on my phone, I, what is it, Crazy Train? Yeah. Crazy train, and it used to be witchy woman. <laughs> so that's that's it. Oh yeah, fun times. <laughs> what <laughs> what are the qualities you like most in me, and what are the qualities you hate most? The most is that you're so social because I'm so not, and you're so easy to get along with people because I'm not. Easy to get along with people. So I'd say that's the best one. Let me see if I can uh, say something negative without getting a divorce again. <laughs> so I just say that uh, Val tends to want me to do things that she should be doing herself. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, qualities I like in you the most is that you are very supportive and you are always there for me even through all my crazy illnesses and... Crazy train? Being on this crazy train? Yeah, crazy witchy woman train. <laughs> and qualities I hate in you the most is that you leave cabinet doors open and don't throw trash out and... <laughs> I do all of that. I, but she just yells at me. Close the cabinet door! You leave that, your drink cabinet closet open and... It's not the, me. The lids from the cat treats are just thrown in the cabinet instead of thrown in the trash. Your drink mixes are just left on the counter. Trust me. Yeah. But I still love you. Okay, this this one, uh, you know. Who is your celebrity crush? You want to answer mine? Norman Reedus, of course. I, I don't really have one. I don't have one. Yeah. Ending question. Where do you see each other in five to ten years? Uh, probably still on this couch. <laughs> Shooting Tuesday tags. <laughs> So that's what we have for the couples questionnaire challenge. And we have to only tag couples in this, so we can't tag Dana. So I want to tag the Buck Stop, the Oreo family, and meet the Presleys. Anybody else you could think? Nope. Okay. So tag. You're it. And this concludes another episode of Tag Tuesday. 
See you next week.